Encircling the icy continent of Antarctica is the most pristine of all marine habitats, the Great Southern Ocean. Looking down on this ocean, the sheer beauty and power of the natural world is overwhelming. This is our last ocean frontier. Over 9,000 species that can't be found anywhere else in the world call this place home. Even species that don't live here depend on it. Strong Antarctic currents carry deep sea nutrients to faraway oceans, sustaining three quarters of the world's marine life. As remote as it is, the Southern Ocean is under increasing pressure. It's one of the fastest warming places on Earth. And there is a growing interest in commercial fishing in this area. The strain is becoming visible. We have the power to protect this ocean. It can be done, and in fact, it's already begun. In 2016, 24 countries and the European Union made history by creating the largest marine protected area on the planet in the Ross Sea. These countries are members of the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, or CAMELAR. Their visionary decision to protect the Ross Sea was praised around the globe. But CAMELAR also made an even more important promise, one that will have a bigger impact. They agreed to establish a network of large-scale marine protected areas throughout the Southern Ocean, including in the Weddell Sea, East Antarctica, and the Antarctic Peninsula. These protected areas would connect ecosystems, supporting marine animals that migrate between them as they forage and breed. And the benefits of these reserves will spread well beyond their boundaries. Our planet is changing. And never has this region been more fragile or important than it is today. Protecting the Ross Sea was only the beginning. It's time for Camelard to deliver on its word by working steadily toward a network of marine reserves that will safeguard the world's final ocean frontier before it's too late.